This is the type of video that I usually make on my secondary channel. In fact, I already talked about the topic over there. But because it has massive cultural ramifications, I think it's important that I discuss it here as well from a different point of view. So to catch people up to speed, there is this uh, old video game. I think it's a decade old by now. It's called Skullgirls. And it presents a cartoon type of art, which uh, has been hand-drawn by people. And as I mentioned, for the last decade, no one had the problem with it. I mean, the video game was uh, on Twitch, it was on YouTube, which is already a very censorious platform. Uh, it was on all the mainstream uh, places. And uh, no one had an issue, but now apparently, uh, the ESG patch dropped. And they realized that this game is actually helping hate groups in the real world. So um, now uh, I understand that the ADL and the Southern Poverty Law Center are outraged because uh, they're not getting any more funding. Uh, due to the fact that the hatred in the world has dropped down because uh, Skullgirls decided to censor uh, their hateful depictions and uh, the hate groups in the world are dismayed and they don't know what to do without uh, Skullgirls promoting them. And the other issue that the developers have solved is that of perversion and degeneracy. You see, they are working with the Catholic Church right now in order to stamp out on uh, those sinful images. Certain characters were showing skin and uh, that was not acceptable. So if you are into those types of perversions, uh, you have OnlyFans, you have Twitch, uh, you have uh, AJ and the Queen, you have Cooties on Netflix. Uh, even in real life, uh, drag queens may uh, uh, service you at the story hour for children. Uh, so, so if you're into that, like you, you, those are open and available for you. Uh, but we as a society have decided that uh, cartoon depictions of fictional characters... Uh, showing a little bit of skin is way too much, way too gratuitous, uh, so it has to be censored. Apparently, the cartoons are underage, I've been so told. Uh, I guess the developers carbon date them. I, I I, didn't know, like, I never tried to sexualize them, but uh, apparently, you know, a person cannot just enjoy an art without sexualizing. Like, how can you go to a museum and watch the Mona Lisa uh, without trying to force yourself upon her? Like, that, you know, like, that's how human beings work. Uh, how can you enjoy violence in a video game uh, without actually wanting to join the military? Like, the fiction and reality go hand in hand. There is no such thing as imaginary anymore. Uh, so obviously people are outset on the internet, right? There, there's a massive outrage and uh, the backlash is to call the people who are outraged perverts or uh, part of hate groups. Because that's how it works. Reminds me uh, back in the day when people were asking for gay marriage. If you were a person that was like, no, like I, I do think like gay people should be married. Uh, the counter argument was, ah, so you must be gay. I mean, this is the level of discourse that is happening now in 2023. But it's from a different ideology and a different uh, point of view. Uh, still, people have every single right to be upset. And it's not about perversions and whatnot, especially in a world where... <clears throat> As I mentioned before, perversions exist everywhere. Like, all you have to do is to log on Twitch and see a bathtub streamer. Like, that's not even controversial at this point. Uh, no, this, this is actually about the fact that a company decided to crowdfund. So they went to the community. And they went like, we want to make a game. This is the game we want to make. This is the art. This is the fan service. This is what we're doing. We would like you to give us your money. Right? And people gave the money. They, they made the game. And now that the developers have changed... And they, some other people got control of the IP. Ten years in retrospect, they're deciding to censor stuff. And by censoring this, like, first of all, they're implying that you're a bad person, right? Like, they're implying that you are a pervert because you played this game that they own now. That, that you are part of a hate group because you like that little red umbrella armband or some shit, right? So they're projecting their insecurities upon the customer. They're also implying that the original developers must have had the problem, right? Because if these things are so bad and the original developers put them in, well, the original developers uh, must have been bad people. So, so that is like one issue. The other aspect is the fact that never in human history, as far as I know, could people buy something like, let's say, buy a book or a movie, and then a company 10 years later change the copy that they have. And this is the dangerous and cultural... Um, perspective that I want to talk about like in the future none of the information that you have is going to be your own because the way technology moves and the way the public operates is by desiring more and more so that things are in the cloud as such if it's in the cloud it's not yours 
So we have seen what happened with documentaries during the pandemic, whether you agree with the documentary or not. The fact that Google unilaterally could remove that from the Google Docs was a warning sign. And the fact that now on Steam, you purchase a game, you play it, and 10 years later, after no one even talks about the game, the developers can change things in it, no matter how small. But the fact that you can't play the original anymore, the fact that you can never go back to the way things were, is a dangerous precedent. You know, like, this censorship is very small. You know, they, they changed a couple of images. Most people are outraged with their ideology and they disagree with uh, th their takes. But at any point, I guess, a company can come in and decide, well, we're going to censor everything. Or we're going to censor the overwhelming majority of it. You already paid this money. Fuck off. This is what they're saying. They're saying that your body is now our body and we will spend it on drugs. Because you need to spend it on drugs in order to have this ideology, like to genuinely believe that by having a little bit of fan service, uh, you're promoting uh, perversions, right? Like people cannot enjoy a game that has fan service without jerking out. Like you need to be a person of uh, Californian mindset, let's put it like this, in order to say stuff like this. Uh, but this is the first reason why people are outraged. Um, and of course, the second reason why people are outraged is because they disagree with the ideology. Like, the, nothing makes sense, okay? Like, you're absolutely ridiculous. Uh, having fan service in media has existed since American Pie. Uh, the, you, you cannot advocate that a product should be bought while providing fan service and then take it away because people have given your money. Like, this is disgusting behavior. You know, it is legal, sure. But it is immoral, disgusting, and you as a company have no more moral high ground to lecture others when you behave in such a manner. You behave like a crook, like a con artist. That's how you behave. Like, like if, if I was to do this with any other form of medium, like if I sell you a product and then I change it after the fact, you would be upset. Right? Like imagine if I sell you a piece of jewelry and then uh, 10 years later I would have access to some technology or magic in order to remove the diamond. And I would say, well, you know, we don't want our jewelry to signify vanity. We don't want people to display wealth. We want people to be more humble because we're Christians now and we think piety is important. So we have manipulated your jewelry in order not to have the diamond piece anymore. Right? The diamond is now inside. If you want to sell it, it's still for the same price. But, like, the, the aspect is different. We made the diamond invisible. It's still there. You know it's there. But, like, you can't show it to others. Right? Like, imagine something like that. Hypothetically, I know, like, people with low IQ can't imagine comparisons or analogies. But, you know, I try. I do my best. Uh, and that's why people are outraged. That's why people are upset. Um, and it's also the fact that uh, the, the reason for this is that I'm pretty sure the company may want to get a loan from a bank. Right, probably a mid-range bank, and they're like, okay, well, we have these ESG loans, which uh, have a very good return on investment, and uh, you're not going to have to pay a lot uh, in return. Uh, but uh, we're going to send a guy to look into your company, and we're going to look to see if uh, you align with our morals, with our uh, puritanical morals. And that's probably why they sanitized it. Or they had to hire a diversity officer. Usually these people are paid uh, all the way up to $300,000 a year. And they have to justify their paycheck somehow. And it's like, okay, well, let me see what I can censor from your game so that uh, you don't get buyer's remorse for having me. Right? If I don't censor anything, why did you brought me to begin with? Like, I need to show that I'm doing my job. This is what the Chinese censors do as well when they work with Western game developers. They censor things that are bizarre and make no sense. But they do it in order to justify their existence and to say, well, without me, this thing would have gotten through. So this is the Skullgirls controversy. If you want to listen uh, more about it, uh, go on my secondary channel. I put the link into the pinned comment. It will take you there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, something that gamers have all the right to be upset. Okay, don't let anyone gaslight you that uh, this is not an upsetting issue. Because the fact that corporations can go and change your video games uh, after you purchase them with your hard-earned money, uh, you have all the right to be vocal about it and uh, not to put up with it. So let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.